Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert, move, and resize images. Okay, I'm going to replace this text box with an image. So to do that, I need to work inside of the Table of Contents master page. And then I'm just going to delete the text box and add an image. One way to add an image is to go up here to File, Place, select your image, and place it inside of your book interior. Another way to place an image inside is to just go to the directory or folder that stores it and drag and drop it over. So I do want to point out that your image is basically made up of two parts. You have the frame that surrounds it and the image itself. So if I wanted to move the image, I would just click inside the box and drag the image to wherever I want it. But if you also notice, there's this circular thing inside of the image. And if I click on that instead and drag it, I'm just dragging the image, but I'm not dragging the frame that surrounds it. So I'm just going to place the image back in the center of the frame by undoing the move a few times. Okay, so now I want to resize this image because it is a little bit too large for the table of contents page. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just hold down my control and shift keys on my keyboard at the same time. I am using a PC. Mac users will probably need to hold down the command and shift keys if I'm correct. And then you just resize it. And when I'm doing this, just keep in mind that I'm resizing both the frame and the image at the same time. And I'm also keeping my proportions. This image is a square. And as I'm holding down both keys, I'm keeping it as a square. So here's what happens if I don't hold down both keys at the same time. If I don't hold anything down, then I'm just resizing the frame and not the image, and I'm losing my proportions. And then if I hold down just the shift key only, again, I'm just resizing the frame and not the image, but I am retaining my proportions as this is still a square. And then if I just hold down the control or command key and resize it, I am resizing both the frame and the image, but I'm no longer keeping my same proportions. So just be aware of that if you, if your image doesn't resize the way you want it to be. So now I'm just going to delete this image because we don't need it and then resize and move this image really quick. So it goes on the bottom of the table of contents page. And let me just check my margins as I want this as low as possible without going under my bottom margin. And I have it centered with the purple line. I'm going to continue with images in my next video. And when I do that, I'm going to show you why I don't really like the two methods that I showed you to place an image inside of your book interior. I think there's a better way to do that, and you'll learn about that in the next video.